Hey there, Shaker Makers. It's Demo Donna here with Queen and & Company, and I have a fun gate fold carve for you using the Under the Sea Shaker Kit. And I'm gonna show you how to create this adorable little crabby gate fold shaker card. And if you wanna check out another version of this card, we did this on our Facebook Live on the Queen and Company royalty page. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you enjoy. To get started on our gatefold card, I am gonna be using the Under the Sea kit, which has so many different fabulous shaker designs. Today, I'm gonna to be using the adorable little crab and I'm also using the Magical Characters paper pad. So a really simple way to create your gatefold card is to center your card. So I have a nice little centered ruler here. So it starts with sevens on both sides and then it's got an zero in the middle. So this is half of an eight and a half by 11. So I'm gonna go ahead and make sure that it's even on both sides. So I've got four and a quarter and four and a quarter. And obviously you can use a scoreboard but I'm just showing you another simple way to create a gatefold. So I'm bringing each end into the center. And the paper weight I am using is 65 pound cardstock. So it's a lighter cardstock, which makes it easier to just hand crease my paper. And there you have it. That is how simple it is to create a gatefold. So now what we're gonna do is go ahead and start adding on the layers of our card. So I've went ahead and pre-cut everything. And the first layer that we're gonna use is from foundation die number four. And it looks just like this before you cut it in half. And what I did, there are two ways to do this. You can either measure it and cut it in half from that or you can count the amount of scalloped, little scallop circles here. So it's actually seven and a half from both ends to get to the center. And I am going to adhere those to both sides. Add a little adhesive to the back. You can use your red liner tape or a rolly adhesive. And I am just going to go right up to the edge, just like that. And then I'm gonna do the same thing on the opposite side. Add a little adhesive right up to my edges. Throw my piece. And then just line those up. And now I have my pieces on both sides of my gatefold. Next one I'm gonna do from foundation die number 12 is I went ahead and cut out two of these bits and I'm gonna adhere those on both sides of my card as well. Right up to the edge again. And a little trick when you are cutting out stripes, just so your eyes follow the stripe line, you just wanna make sure you put your die in the same place each time. It doesn't have to be perfect. If it's off by a little bit, it won't even really matter. But you can see I've got my grays matching up and my reds and my blacks, just like that. Okay, next from foundation die number 11, I have these cute little polka dots. And again, these are all from the Magical Characters Kit. So I'm just gonna adhere those. And I'm just using uh, the three different types of pattern paper in this kit. So it's not too busy because there is a lot of fun different design elements that you can choose from this pattern paper. So to keep it simple and keep it more appealing, 
you want to make sure you're staying in that color group. So I chose the stripes, I chose the circles, and the red polka dots, just those three papers. So I went ahead and trimmed this. This is from foundation dye number 11 as well. And I'm going to adhere that to both sides. Therefore, there is a white background. And now we're going to take our crab and create our shaker card. So the crab itself in the kit is this guy here. And then you also get the eyeballs and the mouth die, which is very helpful. I'm also gonna be using the outline die, which is an add-on to this kit to create my shaker. And I'm gonna take my double-sided adhesive foam. And I like to hold, especially the smaller pieces, just in my hands to evenly layer that on, pop out that middle piece, and then you can add in your shaker bits. This kit comes with some beautiful seashells, beautiful toppings in this kit. There are 13 different toppings. So I'm gonna add some of the orange seashell. I'm gonna take my little seashell bits, and then I'm also gonna add a couple diamonds, peel off that protective layer on my shaker. And now I'm gonna add in the piece of acetate. Now I just stuck a little post-it on it so I could easily grab it and I know exactly where my piece of acetate is because it's clear. Sometimes it gets a little hard to find. Okay, so now I have my little shaker bottom and this is such a fun little crab, very dimensional. I'm simply going to take my awesome sheer glue. All right, now that I have my adorable little crab done, we are gonna go ahead and apply the eyes and the mouth. And I am simply going to just add a little adhesive to the back of both of the eye whites and pop those right in the middle. There we go. And then his mouth is this little piece. And again, I am just gonna add a little adhesive such a fun little creature. And then the perfect little eyeballs. This kit does come with eyeballs that you can go ahead and cut out and adhere on. But from the epoxy flowers, you actually get these tiny little shiny black dots. So I am gonna use those for my crab and I am just going to go ahead and pop one in the center of each eyeball and that adds for a fun dimensional little element on my little crab there so you could see how cute and dimensional his little eyeballs are and now we are going to take our crab and I am going to add some red liner tape to the back of half of him. So he only adheres to half. So I've got my crab here, so I wanna make sure my adhesive's on this side. There we go. Add some red liner tape. And some more red liner tape. Now, something you can also do to secure your crab is you can take little bits left over from the inside of your shaker and use those to pop up his little claw. So I can take, remember though, we're just adhering one side. So I've got the claw there, and then I'll also take just a little bit on top of the eyeball here. Again, putting some cardstock on one, on the back of it will also make this sturdier. 
Okay, so now I've got my shaker here and I'm gonna center it and plop that down right there. So now you have your gatefold card. So really simple. I've got a very fun cut out from the Magic Character Solids. And I just really like this orangey color. It goes great with the color theme that I used from the papers. All right, open that up. And then you get a nice pop of color when you open your card. Stick that in there. And now for my stamp scene, I am going to, from foundation die number 11, I've got these really great little banners here. And I cut out a couple because I didn't have my stamps in my hand, so I wanted to make sure I got the right size. So I am going to use See You Soon. You want to make sure it's actually straight on your stamp grid. There we go. Another really cute stamp saying with this kit is, it's so, sorry you are feeling crabby. Really adorable, love it. So I'm gonna stamp see you soon. Stamp that right on there. There we go. And then I am going to do a little layering, add my little banner. But remember, you just want to adhere it on one side. That way you can still open up your fun fold card. You can also use your red liner tape. I'm gonna go right about there to line it up with that line. So now when you're opening it, you've got your little seine as well as your crab. And now we are going to just finish up with some really fun embellishments. So I absolutely love these guys. So we'll do one there and one here. And these are the lollies, our adorable crab shaker card. This is a really simple gatefold. You can add some more layers inside if you like. Thank you guys so much for watching. And make sure you check out our Queen and Company royalty page. And we did a Facebook Live on how to create this really fun mermaid card as well using the exact same technique. Thank you guys so much and I hope you have a great day. Bye-bye.